This is Pua. She's a pot belly pig. She was named after the Disney movie Moana. And she's one year old. In today's video, Pua gets ready for the 4th of July. Pua, the 4th of July is super fun because everything gets decorated in red, white, and blue. Those are the colors of the American flag. Do you know what the things on the American flag stand for, Pua? The red and white stripes stand for the original 13 colonies and the stars represent the 50 states we have today. Everyone wears red, white, and blue too. So we need to pick out an outfit for you. What do you want to wear? We have this red shirt, and then you could have either a bow, a lei, or a scarf. Let's try them on. Comment down below which outfit you want Pua to wear when we take her to watch the fireworks this Sunday. And she will wear the outfit that gets the most votes. Pua, did you know that the 4th of July is really the birthday of the United States? Happy birthday, USA! This 4th of July, she will be 245 years old. Wow! And to celebrate, I got you red, white, and blue cupcakes and cookies. But first, while you're modeling your outfits for everybody to vote on, I want to tell you why the 4th of July is very important to Americans. It's the day we celebrate our independence from Great Britain on July 4th, 1776. The 13 American colonies were no longer under the rule of Britain's King George III. The American Revolutionary War lasted from April 19, 1775 to September 3, 1783. Thomas Jefferson is the author of the Declaration of Independence. He wrote the draft in June of 1776. Later, the Committee of Five met up to advise on it. From left to right, there was Roger Sherman, Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, and Robert Livingston. These five presented the Constitution to Congress on June 28, 1776. And of course, Congress had to make some changes as well. There were 86 changes made by the committee and by Congress. The Declaration was revised in its final form on July 4, 1776. There were 200 copies printed, but only one copy was engrossed and signed. Engrossed just means handwritten. It is currently on display in the National Archives in Washington, D.C. Pua, Washington, D.C. is our state capital. One day I'll bring you there. We learned a lot about our fight for independence at Colonial Williamsburg last month and even got to meet Thomas Jefferson there. He was so cool. I bet they're going to have a huge celebration there for 4th of July. Pua, you are such a good listener. I love the red nails, and I like all of your outfits. I wonder which one will get picked. A little later. Pua, you fell asleep. I guess you're exhausted from trying on all those clothes. Let's see how long it takes you to wake up when we put these cupcakes down. Well, that didn't take long at all. Your nose works super well. You smelled them while you were sleeping. That looks so yummy. Your lips are red. Whoa, one of the best parts of 4th of July is that they shoot fireworks. We are going to take you to see some this Sunday. They are super pretty and exciting. They are also very loud, but I don't think you'll be scared because you didn't even flinch when they fired the musket right next to you at Colonial Williamsburg. I hope it's not raining on Sunday. And Pua, guess what? I have some amazing news. We have some French friends watching our videos from halfway around the world. It's so exciting. Coucou, mes amis. And Pua, did you know that the French helped us fight for our independence? And they gave us the Statue of Liberty as a symbol of freedom and democracy. It was built in France, shipped overseas in crates, and reassembled, then dedicated on October 28, 1866. Thank you very much, France. 
Fun fact, she's made out of copper and is located on Fairy Island, right off of New York City. In the next episode, we will meet General Marquis de Lafayette and learn the exact moment when America became a free country. Poor you clean off your plate and didn't even leave a crumb. Look at your cute little tongue. Don't forget to vote on Pua's outfit. We will pick the winning vote at 6 p.m. tomorrow. So please get your vote in before that to count. Thanks, guys.